JavaScript is one of the most popular programming languages in the world besides Python. But here is the thing. A lot of you guys might wonder, is JavaScript enough? Like knowing JavaScript enough to land you a job? And I feel like that is such a complex question to answer. And in today's video, I wanted to break this question into a more in-depth answer. Yeah, let's talk about that. Hello, hello, hello everyone. Welcome and welcome back to my channel. My name is Vicky May and I am a software engineer in New York City. If you are interested in learning something about, you know, learning how to code, web development, or anything that is related to tech, definitely check out various of videos in this channel and maybe consider subscribing as well. Okay, so the first thing that I do wanted to point out is JavaScript is not Java. I feel like a lot of people confuse with the words Java versus JavaScript, but they're not the same. JavaScript in short is a programming language that can run on browsers and nowadays javascript is extremely popular and now there are ways that you can run javascript on a non-browser environment if you know javascript you know that there are a lot of opportunities for you to apply for different jobs however even this is true you just can't take a beginner javascript course and expect it to get a job as a software developer being a software engineer is beyond just coding let's look into some of the most common rules that you can get with just focusing on javascript number one is front-end developer so front-end developers are responsible for building visible and user facing parts of the website or application they work really closely with designers transforming the visuals into code many 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 years ago it used to be the case that Knowing HTML, knowing CSS, and knowing jQuery would be enough for front-end development. But as time evolves, and as many JavaScript frameworks become more and more popular, knowing you know one type of JavaScript framework, it becomes almost like a must. It will put you into an advantage if you know at least one JavaScript libraries or frameworks like Angular, React, or even Vue. It's more like a requirement nowadays, and I would say that you know a lot of people wonder if jQuery is actually relevant anymore. I would say it really depends. But what I do think it's important, and especially for front-end engineers, is also consider thinking or knowing topics like you know accessibilities or performance honestly if you generally enjoy visual work and you have an eye for design i would say that this role might be great for you you might wonder what are the differences between a front-end engineer versus a front-end developer unfortunately in this industry i would say that the line is very blurry what you need to know amount all of these concepts is that all front-end rules are not the same front-end engineers also worked on front-end web applications but this rule is tend to be less visual and it's more focusing on application logic they might use an existing component library which takes care of all the markups and css or they might not touch this at all only working on things like fetching apis and manipulating data and managing application state what you would expect in this role is more of a javascript heavy and advanced javascript skills is very necessary you will expect to know at least one javascript framework like react or vue or angular and often an extension of a language called typescript typescript long story short is basically javascript but with types more than that you probably need to be more comfortable of working with external APIs and not all companies mix the distinctions between front-end development and front-end engineering. The smaller the company, I would say the more likely you are doing both. There are a lot of options out there honestly and I would say that a lot of times these two rules are very different so when you are looking for jobs or when you're looking for the perfect rules for you you need to really understand what you like what you enjoy the most and then go from there based on my past experience is try as many things as possible and the more that you try different rules and different tasks 
you would start it to realizing what brings you joy and happiness. Let's talk about full stack developer. This role involving working on both front end and back end. Can you really do this if you only know JavaScript, right? And the answer is yes. If you find a company that has the right tech stack, uh, looking for a company that is using Node.js, which is essentially a server side JavaScript, full stack development is about the breadth of knowledge. It's not about the depth. It is considered, you know, knowing a little bit of front end, a little bit of back end, and knowing that how to build out the entire application on your own or with your skills. You're expected to understand multiple layers of the stack, right? And but not to same levels as expertise as a developer that is specializing in one particular area. That being said, most of the full stack developers do have a slight preference for either front end or back end development. If you like to be able to do a little bit of everything, you probably will enjoy um, full stack development a little bit more. It's also very useful if you wanted to work for a small startup because the fact is you get to actually wear different hats and learn and pick up different tasks. There is a second part of this video where I will continue talking about the topic of if JavaScript is enough to get a job and also different options and rules that you can do with JavaScript. Until next time, I will talk to you soon. Bye.